a Seattle versus Seattle. Yeah, this is an indoor match, <laughs> and it's going to be Kyle Kruger on the top. They're both four and two. So you missed all the math stuff I was doing. Okay. With, uh, Bill. Um, after this round, so right now there, I think there are ten people that are X two and better. Okay. Um, so after this round, depending on that one pair down pair up with the X ones, um, actually there, yeah, there should be one X one that gets paired down. Okay. So if that happens, we could end up with I think it was six or seven people X two or better going into the last. So there will be some five threes probably getting it. Okay, cool. And I think this uh, is like Rops mains. It's not like a yeah. standard. That's what Phil said earlier. So Rops, this will be a Rops build. Next. Um, and also, if anybody's ever wondering, if you ever get close to time like that, and you think somebody's stalling, just call call the judge. Essentially, over. yeah, that's what Schoenthal was saying. Because like Dan was saying that there was a V slip that he made Charlie fix earlier, and they didn't extend any time for that. And and then right. like you know, so you you should call the tournament. Uh, director who's running the show and and get get things like that figured out and because I mean we even have that game on stream. I, I, does anyone sort of think that any play either either player was stalling in that in the last few turns of that well, game? Like, if Dan's arguing for more time, then I don't think he's stalling because more time is just going to hurt him. Right. If Dan's like you, we had a V slip issue that we didn't get a time extension on, that should shut up any of the stalling stuff right there. Yeah. Dan's arguing for more time. Dan loses that game with more time. Dan only wins that game if it's time. Time is called right when time was called. Um, so I can't imagine Dan being stalling there. Um, and it is it is very difficult as a tournament organizer or a judge to yeah. Like I stalling. I basically walked in to see what the result was, and they were kind of at each other's throats, you know, talking about the how that game ended. So. Um, yeah. You know, basically, Charlie was saying Dan played the last turn slow. Um, Dan was saying, you know, we didn't need to take that extra turn. You know, stuff like that. So uh, it's not not you know say. I mean, everything can usually be resolved a little better if you just get the tournament director involved instead of trying to figure it out on your own. Um, I mean, in and unfortunately in our game, so the has got to a... solve a lot of issues is to agree between the players. But okay, so Kyle got a. Decent starting hand. Got a Wisa, got a Luke, got a Mirax. Uh, got an Outrider. Outrider. Worf's got Conquest. Izard. Maul Sith Infiltrator. You got EPP uh, Luke in this uh, Watch Your Step deck. That's pretty cool. The fake Ellis combo. Yep. <laughs> Alright, and yeah, so I a mean, start of like Insignificant start. Rebellion. I Am Your Father. Establish Control from Rops. I think Dan, I think this is a good starting hand this time for both. Yeah, players, seems so. pretty good. I'm glad it's not TRM or uh, Map. Yeah. <laughs> well, and honestly, like I'm glad you pulled Kyle and Chris into a stream. Like I would have been disappointed to yeah. get through an indoor stream and not get to comment on Chris' worst games. <laughs> right. Yeah, they're I both mean, they're both four and two, so easily could be both in the top eight by the end of this thing, but. Uh, also, just getting to see a Watcher Step deck, which I didn't really get to think we'd see too many with the Like My Father Before Me errata, so we'll kind of see how the the deck has moved on Brian from that. I to play Raiders, but he never listened. Yeah, when we had Brady B. Fred on earlier, I was hoping it was going to be Raiders, but he was playing Diplo instead. Should just play Raiders. So, Worfs pulls a Docking Bay, pulls Fondor. Chris Worfs is one of my favorite people. Oh yeah, he's great. Game. And I like that he's he's a really good player, but he he's not always known for playing the same decks that everybody else plays, you know? Like well, he plays Rops mains, he plays There is Good in Him, he plays, you know, sort of different stuff, which I always appreciate. He's started really coming on the last couple of years. Yeah. He's always been a yeah. fairly good player, but now he's right, a guy right. who can make top eights and, and consistently I mean, he was on the Outrider Cup. Like I would have been really disappointed to go to his hometown and not get to Right. Catch him on stream. Definitely. Like, and also getting Kyle Kruger, who's another indoor guy who has been a yeah. longtime good player. I think he has two second place uh, world's finishes to his yep. uh, credit. He, so. He lost to Dan Kim one year, and can't remember who the other year. Yeah. Was it Johnny Chu? Might have been. Not sure. 
anybody knows in chat, uh, holler yeah, at us. I I'm looking it up. <laughs> uh, Kevin Shannon. Oh, it was Kevin Shannon. One. That makes sense. It was 2008. Hmm. So it was 2008 and 2010. Yeah, so I knew Dan Kim was pretty close uh, after 2008 there. I miss that kid. He was fun. I never got to meet him. I, I was gone from... I think it was 06 all the way through 10. Yeah. I came back right after that world. So I read his like tournament report that he did. Yeah, he was, he, a good, never, he was a good dude, for sure. Never finished his tournament report. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the Kyle Kruger special, not cutting out the C slips. Not cutting out the V slips, probably, correctly. So that's the, mo the Lars Moisture Farm that's for anybody farm, who's yeah. confused. What's underneath Kessel? Pulsar Skate. He's going to use okay. uh, Squadron Assignments with yeah, Mirax. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we... That could be risky business at that point, too. Like, he did not have any protection in his hand. Yeah, but I mean, I feel like the Rops deck doesn't run a ton of low-cost no, ships. but what is... He's activating two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got three saved, so I mean he could come down fairly decent against that, but before Rops flips, it doesn't really do as much in you know, in terms of battling because it doesn't get that plus right. to its battle destiny. Oh yeah, yeah, no, for sure. And I mean he does have he does have a lot of like the rescue in the cloud, the Mirax. Yeah, the manipulation. You can get some. Right. And, I mean, he does have some forfeit and everything on. Like, I don't think he's going to be able to come down with too much to really ruin his day, but... The potential's there. I, I guess he probably also knows worse deck, too. Yeah. Since they're teammates. And he's willing to take that extra risk. Like, if you don't know if Worf's is playing, like, Star Destroyers, you think he could be playing, like, Zuckus for, you know, things like that. Right. Like, I mean, Zuckus Forlom could easily come down. Yeah, I mean, most Rops decks well, guess... try to go more towards Imperial stuff, but I remember back in right. the day there was some Rops main stuff that used... Well, yeah, I was going to say, he's running Rops mains. Like, it could be... It could be anything. <laughs> yeah. We haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Here comes Lord Vader for six to the Cantina. I mean, even Mera and ship plus uh, Ozil is two destiny. Yep. Although I guess is Mera ship technically a uh, independent ship? Because it does not show up in Gimp. Like. Hmm. I feel like it's a Imperial ship, but. Yeah, it doesn't have any marking on it. So, so then, then it, that sure. should be Imperial then. Yeah. Okay. See, if it doesn't have any sort of icon, then it'll be. So then it would not draw more than. So how uh, much CCT according to my design is being played, and why isn't it all over the place? There was, I think, one. I think CCT one, yeah, deck. one CCT. And I don't know if it. Was I don't know if it's according to my design. Yeah, yeah. There was one CCT, but we don't. It's an Agnos it. sighting. How you doing, Agnos? Yeah, that's pretty rare. Right. I'm just waiting for him to come back and break some stupid part of this game. <laughs> Agnos right was definitely known as being a really creative and really uh, really clever deck builder for sure. So Yeah. That Walker's deck they came out with at Worlds in twenty eleven just Yeah, they had some pretty neat decks back in the day, like the uh, the meat flap decks I think was also one of his. Yeah. Yeah, did you play test 500 games with that CCT according to my design? <laughs> that was always his claim to fame, right? Yep. <laughs> Is there a team jersey? I've never heard of team jersey. I didn't know Team Jersey was a thing. Who would be on Team Jersey? It was like Greg and Taco Bell. <laughs> and I maybe Greg Gogolin. Was part of, I thought Greg was KTOD. 
Greg is not KTOD. He is a honorary, sometimes member of KTOD, in that they let him play on their team tournaments when only one of them is there. <laughs> All I know is Greg's been on more teams than probably anybody else. Right. Oh, are we seeing Han and potentially a... Uh, EPP Han. Room? EPP Han no. and EPP Luke. Just like the old days. Yeah. Well, if he life deaths into Chewie and Rage. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. Dodge, Milos, and I can't see. <laughs> I think he took a dodge. Dodge seems alright against the lightsaber that's coming out his face. Yeah. I mean, it's also good as a backup for if you. Oh, wait, there was a Maylos, so we maybe. Now he's putting Maylos out, so maybe he took Maylos oh. with. Uh... Yeah, then he took Maylos. I can only see that he grabbed. What year is it? It's whatever year you want it to be, because put anything after the 20 that people. One, Swinging lightsaber draws a Han. That's a one. Draws a clash. That's a three. That's a miss. So Luke swings and misses. Don't worry, Han's gonna shoot and hit. And then Vader swings, but it gets dodged. Yeah, if you miss a swing, I think dodging here is probably. Yeah. We still have to draw them because they're minus three each. So that's a right. one, and that's a two. So whoever he was swinging at, he missed. Yeah. Or I no, say, I guess he got Han. Yeah, he, he would have gotten Han if he swung. Because Lord Vader adds to his draws, right. right? Yeah. So he got Han. He has to lose a force because I am your father. Han does not shoot Vader. Not surprised. I mean, we did see a blind force lightning on Luke earlier today, so... Three destinies. Not terrible. Breaks of immunity. Yep. <laughs> but... Lightside's gonna have to lose Han and... Probably one more, less. one more character, yeah. I think you keep loop there, and you can dodge from the lost file if you need to keep loop around. Yep. Vader dies, yeah, I'm pretty sure Vader and he's off. peeling one. Yeah. He peels a Doctor E. It could have been much worse if he had been able to hit. Yeah, the. If uh, Luke's lightsaber would have hit Vader, or even Han shot, I mean. Yeah, I mean it's <laughs> you'd have to draw a six because then Han's blaster adds one. Uh, doesn't Lord Vader get plus the defense? Oh right, when he's armed with his lightsaber, yeah, he, he's he's pretty hard to hit. <laughs> yeah, like, doesn't he, oh no, he's you'd have to. Eight, so Han can't shoot. You'd have okay. to use a blaster proficiency. Correct. So it's a total of four overflow. Nice. For Kyle Kruger there. Well, I mean, the old school uh, EPP Han with Luke draw it. Yep. Multiple Destiny combo. Yep. It's been known to happen. So Kyle's got a nice little setup right now. He's got a dodge on the lost pile. He's, He's got Mirax. Yeah. And Luke is protected from any walkers, although I'm pretty sure he knows that Worfs is really probably loaded up on walkers. Yeah, Worfs is playing mains. So we'll see if he I can... I assume just... there's a Blizzard 4. Oh, yeah, right. There's a Blizzard 4 in Worfs' hand. Oh, in his hand, so... Yeah. If you're playing mains, you're playing Blizzard. Yeah. That's been established for years. Yeah. It's 
power eight deploys for five and lets you get a free character aboard. So he uses his ROP's objective to deploy a stormtrooper garrison. That would have been useful against that other battle. Yeah. Are they going to the Raltier docking bay? Yep, looks like it. Also goes with Min. Min will play a defensive shield. Or is that Kirkanos? That's Kirkanos. Okay. Gotta say, I was really hoping for that life debt, Chewie and Rage. <laughs> that would have been crazy. Oh, good. Gogolin's giving out prizes. So, everybody, if you're listening, type in exclamation OCS in the chat in the next minute to win a free OCS season pass. There you That's go. That's really good value. For 50 you. bucks. Yeah. Totally worth it. I'm doing it on my oh. phone. So you I can totally win the... Did, you totally didn't do OCS the first I, 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 I got it the second time. <laughs> and here I was not actually going to enter because I'm like, well, you know... <laughs> but if you're going to enter, I'm joining in. <laughs> Also, he did say OCS all caps. You didn't do all caps. Oh, he did all caps? I don't know if that matters. Yeah. Well, it's okay. I probably shouldn't win the prize anyway. Well, now I'm going to feel bad because I already entered it. <laughs> <laughs> and I did caps because I was paying attention. <laughs> and those who pay attention should get the prizes. Uh... So did he just go everybody to docking bay and then move them over? Yeah, move them over to docking bay transit over. That's not bad. So drain of one and two, and I mean, it, it, worst play was is not going to get him back in that game right there. He's got to do something to contest yeah. what what um, Kyle's got going on. Well, and he already had to peel four in a battle, and he just took three from a drain, so yeah. he's down seven plus Vader and lightsaber, so nine plus. Starting interrupt, so 10. So yeah, I mean, he's he's down a fair bit already. No dash. No dash. He did not flash the dash. <laughs> Forty-seven viewers. Hey, there you go, Jared. Congrats, Jared. Nice. We will mail that right over to you. <laughs> yep. Consider it done. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little late on the draw, there, Sergeant Trey. <laughs> Congrats and also rigged, says Josh Mack. Yeah. You're not wrong. I mean, if you don't win, it's always rigged. Not talking to you. <laughs> That's the way it works. That's what I tell my opponents when I lose a game of Star Wars to them. The game was rigged. <laughs> so now we've got some smugglers coming down against the pile of troopers. May it's loss. A pile of smugglers versus a pile of troops. All right, so now and then Luke just moves over. So we got K two S O May loss Talon card and Luke against the stormtrooper garrison, the Min Kano and Kirkanov. Yeah, okay. Royal guard and stormtroopers versus 
smugglers, smugglers droids, wannabe Jedi's. I wonder what Worf's was running for space, because I mean, Mirak's all by herself. Uh, uh, he's got a couple Star Destroyers, yeah. and he has one in his hand. I couldn't make out one. Pretty he... sure it's the Conquest that he has in hand. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I mean, this is a. I mean, worse getting him to move over. It's not a terrible. Yeah, giving up the drain of two. It's nice. Yeah. Blizzard four comes down. And there's a perimeter scan. Perimeter scan. So no download. And it also a can't can't move or can't battle. Move or battle. So it's like yeah. a barrier. Uh, plus. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a barrier on steroids. <laughs> It can move, it just can't battle. Okay, thanks, Bob. We should just have him on telling us what the... Yeah, Bob is great. <laughs> Plus, he probably also has, like, Gimp on in front of him or Scomp Link I mean, access. I have it on next to me. I just was looking something else up. Alright, so we have, this game is, you know, just kind of getting underway or halfway done or so, and then we have one more game to get to our top eight, so, 7.30 local time. <laughs> I mean, part of that's adding the lunch break in, I mean, that was like a 40 minute lunch break you guys Yeah, did. yeah. That's almost a wrap. Yeah, and we got it's started about a half an hour later than we wanted to, so. <laughs> oh, you did? <laughs> I was, yeah, you were. I was dealing with the charity stuff. Yeah, you were doing point. stuff before Gogolin was on in the morning with us. Yeah. Now we had a, we had a event where we were donating to an animal charity. Nice. That I basically set up, so I had to be there, and I thought they were going to be there at like 10:30 when the event started, and they showed up. Well, crap. <laughs> I want to be here so I can help push people towards them. I think we raised. Seven hundred dollars for him today. Heck yeah, for man! No kill animal shelter. So nice, really good. Yeah. Uh, hey, Agnos, that's your first month. If you uh, keep your subscription going for uh, some months in a row, you can get some free foil cards if you're interested. So, definitely appreciate you using your Twitch Prime benefits and using them on the PC. It helps us do uh, awesome things like Endor live streams and uh, all that good stuff. So. Thank you, Agnos. Yes. Giveaways and lots of things. Right. <clears throat> it also does not look like Chris has updated the pairings yet. So. Okay. He, I, I just saw him walking down the hallway. I mean, he might have been in the restroom. He might so. be taking a break before he got to it. Yep. I totally get it. I've been in his shoes. <laughs> it's rough. <laughs> You're the person and the judge. Uh, yeah. And you're updating everything. Yeah. That's him. Well, that was that was partly the reason why the tournament software has this export button to be able to post a pairing so much easier. True. I the first the first indoor where I was testing it, I had to manually enter that. Spin, so yeah. Fix that. <laughs> yeah. I had to help him with the last round. There was a weird pairing issue where it it it, it was. Giving, it was giving someone else the buy, even though I don't know. I had to help him figure it out, but it's giving the wrong person the buy, so we had to fix that manually. Change the last two yeah. pairings. So I think it was the guy who showed up late was supposed to get the buy because mm -hmm. he still hadn't won any games yet. So even though 
but basically we needed to give him a buy that he could win against. <laughs> 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 so yeah, that was weird. Yeah, the software is not perfect, but it's a lot better than a lot better than pen and pencil. That's for sure. Yeah. Those pen and pencil pairings come down to the last round. It gives you a massive headache. Oh yeah. Is there an ATL tournament this year? I don't know if there's a big Atlanta tournament on the uh, on the horizon. Uh, we still haven't scheduled Worlds or uh, any nationals. of those nationals or anything like that. So ATL could certainly be a, a candidate for one of those. I know they did uh, a big tournament. Uh, was it nationals last year. last year? Yeah. Yeah. So and that one seemed to be pretty well received. So. And I think I don't think. I think just to NPC has been planned out for the U.S. I mean, right. The, the Euros has been planned out because it's always the same weekend every year. Yeah. At the same hotel. Hey, there's something to be said about consistency and just knowing. Yeah. You know, the NPC has pretty much been at the same hotel for the past like decade, so I always right. like that. Yeah, they just took it off of. All right, so now the... Kyle's going to move his characters inside the cantina to follow all those troopers, and Kyle draws a few cards. See, I mean, like you said earlier, Kyle and Chris probably know each other pretty well, being teammates, all that stuff. I wonder if Kyle just knows that, you know, he can be fine with just Pulsar Skate <laughs> and Mirax yeah. in space. I mean, by this point, he's probably been able to either hit an alternatives to fighting, if he's playing that, or mm -hmm. like a moving to attack position. Or hyper escape. or Hyper escape or out of nowhere or yeah. you know, something to bust, you know, to just give him a little... Even the odds out there. Yeah. I'm sure Kyle knows that Chris has not gotten a great start at flipping his objective or anything of that nature. Right. So we'll see what uh, Worfs can do on this turn. If he can get a blowout, beat down <coughs> the Cantina, it doesn't seem super likely. I, was, I would guess space. Like I know he has the Conquest. If like Conquest plus Thrawn, that should be able to blow out. You know, every time Kyle shows his hand, I, I'm just halfway glazing and don't look at it all the way. He's got <laughs> Luke. He's got they're tracking us. He's got Kessel. All wings report in. All wings. Hear me, maybe hold together, maybe. Got a decent hand. Yeah. Doesn't have a lot of protection for space though. So. That's true. I didn't see like an alternative to fighting or a hyper escape or anything. So maybe we'll see Chris try to flip this turn. He does go with Izard right. to the street. Yeah, I gotta imagine he's gonna try to flip at this point. Kyle plays Where's Han to pull EPP Han. Maybe he's not going for the easy flip. Okay, Emperor... Oh, yeah, so there's the flips. Yeah, yeah. He goes Emperor to the middle, and then I can't see who's underneath Blizzard 4, but someone's on. It's Ozzel. That's why, that's why I said he's not going for the easy flip, because he had just deployed Ozzel over there and not. But I guess he's... Because you have to have an Imperial at each place, so that's why he had to oh, put... Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. So that's why he had to put Ozzel there and then put the Emperor in the middle, because, yeah, Imperials must control three Raltier locations, not just uh, control three. I haven't really looked at the new round. <laughs> yeah. Alright, and then Worfs moves out of the cantina, so now Kruger's got his drain at the cantina back. But Worfs being flipped takes away the sting of the Tatooine drain and makes the cantina drain only a one. Right. So Kyle's time to get in some early damage was has now come to a close. <laughs> right. Now that Rops is flipped. But, I mean, if you can kick, you know, Izard off the site and then just move the Pulsar Skate over to Raltier or something, then right. you can flip him right back pretty easily. We'll see what Kyle's got planned. Use his Mirax. And it's going to activate. I mean, he's got EPP Han, so... He does have EPP Han. He can go blow out. But EPP Han doesn't draw by himself. So. But him and another smuggler would be two destinies. 
Right. Or him with Chewie would add three discs. Right. Yeah, him with... Uh... Which would actually be four total. Because then you'd have Smuggler, Destiny, Han, Destiny, or, and uh, I think it would just be three, yeah. and then Ability, right? Yeah. yeah. And then Life Death. And then Life Death for four, for five. <laughs> and then it's Chewie and Rage, and we're all at plus two. <laughs> oh, wait, we're not, we're not back in 2004. <laughs> I still love Chewie and Rage. He's just a little expensive. He's yeah. got some good game text, though, with canceling, like... Yeah, I was going to say, he cancels like imperial game yeah like <laughs> cancel veers and stuff like that is really strong yeah or you know like canceling emperor's game text or i feel like he has to, has to be ability less than four for him to cancel no, it's, oh it's power less than five power less than five yeah i knew it was something like that uh, now the tesla comes out yeah i assume he was just he's outrider and dash And probably move Mirix over to Rao. Yep. Well, another smuggler goes aboard there. That's uh, kind of in our glare spot. Yeah, I couldn't see who it was real fast. It's, it's one of the janky ones, I'm sure. They have all that space to the right of Fondor. And the only thing that's there is Boss Nash Tamer. <laughs> it's like... He's going to go a Nabrum beat. To go against Ice Hard. Or Emperor. Or Ice Hard. I think he's or going Emperor. Ice Hard. <laughs> or Emperor. Or Ice Hard. Nabrum gets grabbed. And cancelled? <laughs> I don't think it gets I don't think it's getting cancelled. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> and then Han Does Wurfs have a gick? Important questions to ask ourselves right now. I mean, I don't see a Chewie and Rage with that, so I still think he's okay. <laughs> oh, he's going to take back the Han, it looks like. Yeah, because he doesn't have the... Oh, no, he didn't pay for Nabrin is what it... I was wondering if I just missed that. Oh. He did not actually right. pay for Nabrin. <laughs> I, I was like, maybe it just squeaked by and I didn't see it. He, but... had, a, he had a free Uber coupon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was a Destiny of 5, so... <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot of force. You want to make sure he pays for that yeah. name for him. <laughs> yeah, about that, let me tell you. Okay, we do see a... <laughs> Chris Wurfs is showing it to us right there. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? Yeah. <laughs> so Chris Wurfs does have the gick. <laughs> no, that was his reserve deck. Oh, that was his reserve? I thought that yeah, was yeah, his hand. Was, oh, he okay. He threw his reserve so deck, they just, and he showed yeah. us the gick. So I'm pretty sure that's yep, the game. There's the handshake. Scooping now. Okay. So Nabrum, uh, Nabrum wins another game. Who would have yep. thought? <laughs> Nabrum and Han with with Blaster. Yeah, oh, see, I thought Worse was showing us that the gig was in his hand. No, like I saw him pick up his reserve deck. I assume he was picking it up for like to pull a Force Lightning or something. <laughs> and then he showed us the. Uh, no, the do the battle. Deck. We want to see the battle. <laughs> I wanted to see I've, five. Was it, was it was be one from Han, one from uh, one from smuggler, smuggler, one from, one from ability. ability. So it's been three destiny at least, maybe 